Alrighty, so for this week's group advanced concept presentation, um, I unfortunately won't have any photos or anything because I was having issues with um, a screencast o matic or whatever. Um, but the prompt is asking us to just to kind of talk about um, the molecule that we were shown, how it's a coiled coil, um, a typical Luchin zipper, and consists of two helix a helixes. Um, and so, first, I want to talk about the principles involved in holding those two together. Um, so, the two alpha um, helixes can generally, they just can be held together by either dull sulfide bonds, ionic bonds, um, hydrophobic interactions, or hydrogen bonding. Um, in this case, the hydrophobic interactions between the lecithin molecules and the electrostatic interactions between the lysine and guanine. Guadamate, guadamate. Um, but the principles behind the hydrophilic um, interaction is that it, it like, it increases its stability or um, its stability of the complex um, when hydrophobic amino acids are uh, well protected. Um, so it's kind of sorry it's, it's a little confusing. Um, I'm still trying to kind of figure it all out myself. Um, but the other two parts of the prompt also talked about um, coming up with a residue that could replace um, it and create the same stability. Um, and one that I kind of thought of would be isolechin, um, as it is pretty much equally as hydrophobic as le leuchin, um with the same chain length um, and the molecule mass, the R groups of the isomers are of each other. Um, so that would also help out quite a bit. Um, the next part of the prompt also asked us to... Let me find it again because I want to make sure I get it right. Um, um, also asked us to come up with... Suggest one possible residue that would destabilize the core. Yeah. Um, and one that I thought might destabilize the core and break the hydrophobic interactions present um, surrounding all that and everything. Um, serine, um, theoine, uh, aspartame. Um, I feel like all three of those would be good examples of things that of um, that would destabilize the core. Um, and that pretty much that is the whole concept of those two alpha helix, hel helices um, that we were shown in that picture. Unfortunately, the pictures, it would be much easier to talk about if I could show them, um, but the whole screen astomatic or whatever um, was not working. Um, so the side chains of any pair consisting of one acidic and one basic amino acid, they would likely interact with lysine and guanine. Um, so for an example, aspartame and um um, or aspartame and histidine. Um, so those are two examples also that um, would also interact the same because it's one acidic and one basic. Um, so I know this is relatively short, but that's really all I've got. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what people have to say. Um, and then, like I said, I'm still trying to kind of understand it myself. It was a little bit without pictures and stuff to talk about I'm just reading from my notes um, but yeah so that's the overall gist of everything and I hope it's a little bit clear although hopefully I didn't just make you more confused than you might have already been um, I'm trying to see if I can pull up one picture possibly um, no but like, like I was talking about before, the two things where um, I can talk about one that destabilizes it and one that stabilizes it even more. And there was a picture with like little red um, stars almost, and it's talking about trying to put them in right there. Um, so if you went back to the blackboard area and looked, those two little red stars, I'm not sure it looks like a little speech bubble almost. Um, that's the points that we're talking about. Okay, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, but like I said, I would replace, to make it more, um, I could make it more stable, it would be, 
isolation um, and then something that would possibly like destabilize the core um, and break those hydrophobic interactions that are present already um, would be like serine, um, theoiene, and aspartame. Those three right there um, I th think would be pretty good at um, destabilizing it um, since the medium is aqueous and um, they, they would kind of be clab clubbed into each other and I mean I, just, I feel like those three would be very good at destabilizing the core. Okay, um, so yep, thanks.